What's up, guys? Uh, Johnny here from ETSM. Uh, just kind of giving you guys a little update. We had to come and get something to eat after what we just experienced here. We're trying to trying to wind down a little bit. Um, so yeah, just a quick update. Uh, we found a, a guy on the ground who was dying, and um, obviously, you know, we do community outreach and support. And uh, I happened to have my, my camera gear going, so I had put my camera gear down, and the number one priority was to resuscitate the guy that we had found. And um, it was, the scene went berserk. It was um, absolutely frightening for uh, Agnieszka. So I want to tell him a little bit about it. Yes. I'm glad he just got your camera. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm sitting here reviving his friend doing CPR and chest compressions and ready to put the naloxone into him. And um, first responders from on site had showed up and I had backed away from the scene to give them control of the scene. And this guy came out of nowhere with a hatchet and swung it at me. And, yeah. you know, I was able to defend myself, but uh, he then went after my tripod and my camera and you can see the lens is off a bit now and everything's pretty much been destroyed. The top the wires are all hanging out, the bridge is broken, even cracked it all inside the framing here. So this is what we use to do the film for the documentary. Um, this is one of the better cameras that we have, it's a Nikon 7300. Uh, the lens appears to still be in good working order. You know, the lens still goes, still slides, the gears are still good. Um, and to be honest with you, after I had cooled down, I was able to diffuse the situation and um, you know, practice a little bit of tolerance and acceptance. And I went back up to the guy and I, and I shook his hand and I, and I said that I forgive him for what he did. He's a, he's a strong out addict. And uh, we practice compassion and love and, and empathy. And uh, that's all there is to it. You know, we broke, they broke the camera. We, we have a problem, but we live in the solution. And uh, together, we're going to figure out a solution. And uh, at the end of the day, we're, we're healthy. We're safe. And um, yeah, I just don't want you guys to be out there worrying too much about us. And uh, my poor production assistant here, she's, she's never really experienced anything like that. As, uh, being with the journalists and out in the field, sometimes it's uh, it's pretty intense and uh, it can be scary at times. But we have a job to do, and there's a you know, the truth needs to be told, and the people need to see what's really going on down there. So, yeah, I, I encourage you guys to leave all your comments below. You know, check us out on uh, on our pages, on our social media pages. The links are all over the place. You know, feel free to uh, leave your comments and talk to us. You know, say anything. I'm okay. Yeah, so we're just going to take this time to ourselves now. We'll find a nice place to meditate and chill and uh, revamp for uh, for our next expedition. But uh, I just want to say, guys, I really appreciate all your support and your love uh, and your kindness. And um, I couldn't do this without you guys. I, honestly, I could not do it with all your support and love. It's what keeps me going every day. I have my ups and downs. Today was definitely frightening. <laughs> But you know I'll be right back at it tomorrow, man. I'll have that camera. I know we'll all come up with a solution, and I will have that camera fixed. And we'll be back in the field shooting. Uh, I got a couple events planned. So we got the uh, the crowdfunding campaign. It's going to be getting launched uh, just before Christmas. So if you're in the Christmas spirit, hope us out. And the other thing is too is we're going to do some uh, we're going to do some guerrilla marketing. We're going to uh, be putting some banners over top of the freeways. Uh, there's been talks about um, organizing a rally down at City Hall. Um, if that does go down, I will be chaining myself to City Hall's doors <laughs> until I get arrested, and I'm okay with that. Um, so yeah, if you guys got any ideas, uh, drop them in there, man. This is a war out here. There's a, literally a war zone going on. And so uh, these people deserve uh, quality mental health care. And um, yeah, BTSM. I love it. Why are those things doing in Vancouver right now? Uh,